good morning all in this semester i have been assigned with a subject data communication that is cs307 as per the k2 uh, curriculum data communication this subject actually deals deals with the basic communication mechanisms and uh, how the communication can take place how the signals are represented what are, what are the different mechanisms to represent a signal and how the data transmission is carried out and if there is any error during transmission how they can be detected and corrected all these things are discussed in this uh, subject and actually uh, this subject is not a purely computer science subject it has some aspects of uh, electronics and communication uh, like technology because most of the things that we are going to deal in these subjects uh, are something like multiplexing Uh, signals or and some signal generation mechanisms all are something somewhat similar to uh, the electronics and communication technology so uh, don't expect that it is only a purely a computer science subject it has a little bit electronic side okay so uh, yeah uh, so shall we start the actual topic of the day and data communication here we are actually i'm following two textbooks first one is data communication and networking by forosan and the second one is uh, data and computer communication by william stadics and um, i'm actually i am referring both the textbooks and in my opinion data communication and network by forosan will be the textbook that can be easily understood uh, stadics is little bit tough to understand so uh, you can follow any of these textbooks okay and i am referring both the textbook to complete the sessions okay so uh, these are the textbooks that we can follow in the case of computer communication data communication and this is the syllabus of the first module here we are discussing the data transmission communication model different transmission mechanisms like simplex half duplex full duplex transmission mechanisms and we will discuss the type of signals analog signals digital signals sine wave the, the features of waves like sine wave like phase wavelength and frequency all these things and then after that we will discuss the data transmission in the form of analog and digital signals then there may be some transmission environments transmission environments are the problems that we have to face or the some losses will be there in the case of transmission or the what are the problems that we have to face in the case of transmission that are called transmission environments okay so we have to discuss some transmission environments like attenuation delay distortion noise etc and after that there is uh, some theorems like uh, nikusti bandwidth theorem shannon capacity formula all these things and we have to do some uh, problems regarding the topic okay and in the previous question papers uh, usually they are asking uh, the problems regarding the nikusti and uh, shannon capacity formula now we are we are going to discuss what is communication communication is a mechanism of transmitting data from a device to another in the form of signals to a computer network is a mechanism of transmitting the data from the sender that is a computer or a device to another device in the same in the network through in the form of signals okay so in communication the data that is to be transmitted will be in the form of signals and it will be transmitted from the sender or from a computer source computer to the receiver computer through a computer networks okay then so we have to differentiate what is data and what is signal data is something tho- that is stored in a computer so stored in a device okay so when this data has to be transmitted from the sender to the receiver it has to be converted to signal actually s- signal is the representation of the data data is something that is whenever it is stored in a medium storage medium it is can be considered as data and when it is transmitted from the source computer to the receiver to the destination so we have to convert the data to a signal so signal is actually the representation of the data and communication is a mechanism of transmitting data from a device to another in the form of signals through computer networks okay then the next topic is computer what is computer networks computer network may be defined as the interconnection of autonomous computers 
computer networks may be defined as the interconnection of autonomous computers autonomous computers mean in a network we may have a number of computers okay in such situation every computer should be autonomous autonomous means a particular computer cannot be controlled by any other computer in the network that means if you are, you are not able to control another computer in the same network when you are sitting in front of a system okay so this computer your computer should not be able to control by another computer in the network if that if the computer has such feature such type of computer can be called as autonomous okay so computer network can be defined as the interconnection of autonomous computers okay then uh, so we are going to discuss communication model communication model represents what are the components that should be there in a communication okay to make a communication successful what are the different components needed that is meant by communication model actually there are five components in a communication model they are sender second one is receiver third one is a message fourth one is a transmission medium and the fifth one is a protocol it's a set of protocols okay so in communication model specifies what are the components in a communication that what should be the components in a communication to make it successful one so there are five components in a communication they are sender receiver message transmission medium and protocols okay so this is actually the communication model here sender is the device to which is capable of transmitting some data then so it can be a laptop it can be a mobile phone or it's a mobile device like a P a pda or it can be a desktop computer okay so this is called a sender sender is responsible to send the data okay the data sent by the sender should be accepted by someone which is called a receiver receiver is a device to which the data is transmitted okay so what we have to transmit in between the sender and receiver that's a data so the original data that is being transmitted in between the sender and the receiver is called a message message is the data being transmitted in between the sender and the receiver okay so uh, to transmit the data from the sender to the receiver there should be a path there should be a path through which the data has to be flown okay so the path that is connecting the sender and receiver is called a transmission medium transmission medium is a physical path through which the data from the sender flows to the receiver okay so in order to transmit all this data we should all the sender and the receiver should obey some set of rules that set of rules are called protocols at both the sides of communication that is at the sender and receiver there should be some set of rules called the protocols and the communicating devices should obey this protocol so that the communication becomes a successful one okay so these are the components of a communication system or okay, a communication model first of all it's a sender sender is a device that is capable to transmit the data and receiver is a device to which the data is transmitted both the devices can be a laptop it can be a desktop or a mobile device like uh, pda okay so anything that is transmitted between the sender and the receiver is said to be a message that can be in the form of a text it can be an image or it can be an audio or video okay so in order to transmit the data from the sender to the receiver there should be a path okay there should be a physical path between the sender and the receiver that physical path is called a transmission medium the transmission medium can be either wired or wireless okay to make a communication successful both the communicating devices that is sender and the receiver should obey some set of rules that set of rules are called protocols okay these are the uh, components of a communication system i'm just explaining the terms one by one Sen sender is a device that can transmit data it can be a laptop desktop or mobile phone receiver is a device to which the data is sent it can be a laptop desktop or mobile phone message is the actual data to be transmitted that we have already discussed it can be in the form of a text image audio or video transmission medium is a physical path between the sender and the receiver it can be either wired or wireless then there is a set of protocols set of uh, rules that must be obeyed by the devices participating in a communication is called protocols and as example for a protocol is http that is a common protocol that is used to access the web page okay 
the protocol so to in order to access the web page we are trying to access the pages that are stored in a remote computer so we are trying to communicate with a remote computer am i right so in such situation we have to obey some rules that rules are specified by http hypertext transfer protocol okay so now we are going to uh, discuss different transmission modes actually there are three modes in which data can be flown from the sender to the receiver and back okay so uh, there are three modes first one is simplex communication mode or simplex transmission mode second one is half duplex transmission mode and third one is full duplex transmission mode if the communication occurs only in one direction that is from the sender to the receiver we cannot the receiver cannot reply to the sender for example in the case of radio broadcasting we cannot tell anything to the radio so we have to get the data we have to only to get the data from the device okay so here the sender is always transmitting the data the receiver is responsible only to receive the data the receiver cannot reply the data cannot re return any data back to the um, sender okay so in such situation such type of communication is called a simplex communication simplex communication takes place only in one direction example radio or television broadcasting is an example for simplex communication okay second one is half duplex here communication can be in both directions but only one direction at a time here we can communicate each other the sender and receiver can communicate each other sender can transmit data at a time and the receiver can transmit reply uh, to the sender at another time okay so they don't have a simultaneous communication uh, here we can have a bidirectional communication but the communication can be direct, uh, taken place only in one direction at a time example walkie talkie in walkie talkie we can communicate in two directions but only one direction at a time this is uh, half duplex communication and the next one is full duplex communication here communication can be taken place in both directions simultaneously example we can have the telephone communication in both directions simultaneously okay we can overlap the communication so is, uh, is an example for full duplex communication in full duplex communication communication take can take place in both directions simultaneously example for full duplex communication is telephone networks okay so this is the uh, thing that we have to discuss today uh, we in in this session we have discussed about the communication uh, we have defined communication uh, then the computer networks after that we have a communication model consists of sender receiver message uh, a transmission medium and set of rules called protocols and we have discuss, um, discussed all the things and after that we had three communication modes they are transmission modes like simplex half duplex and full duplex if the communication can take place only in one direction at one direction that is simplex communication if communication take can be taken place in both directions but only one direction at a time it is called a half duplex if we can communicate each other in both directions simultaneously that type of communication is called full duplex okay example for full duplex communication is uh, telephone network example for half duplex communication is um, walkie talkie and the example for simplex communication is uh, radio or television broadcasting normally all the devices in a computer communicate each other using half duplex communication all the devices in a computer communicate each other using half duplex communication okay okay thank you thank you very much